I'm Jen McPhillamy, and these are my seven reasons why Edmonton is the worst. Number one, road construction. Oh, nothing is more frustrating than the road construction here in Edmonton. So picture this, you just get out of winter driving and you feel like you want an open road to let loose and not be stopped. And then there's this sign, road closed. And the worst part is, you don't really see a lot of notifications about road closures. So you usually don't even understand what's happening until you're in the situation. So that's super frustrating. And I think Edmonton could do a lot better with the notifications. I'd really like to see reduced construction, but with construction comes better roads and better amenities. Number two, the caterpillars in Edmonton are the worst. Now there are these little tiny green ones and they swing from the trees. And when I looked up caterpillars, I couldn't really find anything about them. Just one second. Girls, I'm trying to record a video here. Thank you. Anyway, as I was saying, I looked up caterpillars to see if I could find which kind that they are. But what I found was interesting. They seem to be more like something like a canker worm. Anyway, they're really small and you often don't even know that they're there until you're covered in them. Luckily this year, 2024, wasn't too bad for them, but there have been years where I just stay out of the river valley for a whole month until they're gone. They eventually turn into these little tiny annoying moths, but the moths aren't as annoying as these little green bugs. Number three, the rocks on the road. Now, if you're coming from somewhere that doesn't have rocks on the road, this is gonna be a rude awakening for you because rocks on the road result in cracked windshields. Essentially, the tires from the other cars spit them at your windshield, causing a crack. And you can fix those sometimes, and more often than not, you're gonna have to get a new windshield. So my advice to any newcomer is to make sure you have windshield insurance then you're only paying the deductible because some windshields can be pretty expensive. Now, number four, this one might seem a little odd since if you watch my videos, you know that I do love downtown Edmonton, but what's the worst about it is that it really lacks a buzz in downtown unless there's an event or something. Otherwise, it's pretty dead down here. Most cities, when you're really not sure where to go, you just head to downtown and there's always seems to be something going on. I mean, that's pretty true around here, but we don't really have a lot of corporate businesses in downtown Edmonton, especially if you're coming from a place like Calgary. They're basically the hub for all the head offices for oil and gas. So there's a lot more things happening downtown with respect to work. But Edmonton downtown has a lot of people living here and the Downtown Community League and the Business Association are actually doing a lot to make it way more interesting down here. Not to mention we have Rogers Place, which is awesome. Number five, potholes. Oh my God, potholes, those just come out of the blue. You don't even see them and then bam, your car hits one and you feel like your car almost fell apart. Yeah, the potholes in Edmonton are the worst. It has something to do with the freeze and thaw, but I'm not 100% sure. All I know is that we seem to have a lot of them and we have a lot more than you'd see in Calgary. So if you're thinking the roads here will be the same as you're used to in Calgary, you would be mistaken. When I moved here from Calgary, I found like that was something pretty difficult to get used to because it just does not feel good when your car hits a pothole. Number six, photo radar. Now, probably a lot of other cities in Canada have photo radar. It seems to be a pretty good way for municipalities to make some money. But I do know people who are coming here from the States, especially Texas, seem to be unfamiliar with photo radar. And before they really realize what it is, they get a lot of tickets in the mail. So in Edmonton, you're gonna get photo radar for two things. One, speeding, and two, failing to stop at a red light. In order for you to get a ticket for speeding, you have to be exceeding this posted speed limit by at least 10 kilometers per hour. And trust me, if it's like a 50 kilometer per hour zone and you're going 61, darn right, you're gonna get a ticket. And red light tickets happen when you just fail to stop at the red light or you think you had enough time on that yellow to make it through, the camera's gonna snag a picture and you're gonna get a hefty fine in the mail. I mean, sometimes you don't even have to go through the intersection and you'll still get a fine in the mail. I have a little story to share with you. I was traveling in Edmonton. They had a very wide stop zone. 
and the sun was shining and I couldn't see the light too well. And just in time I saw that it turned red, so I had stopped. Well, apparently my car had stopped ahead, like the lights here and my car stopped before the light, but the stop line was back here. So my car was like basically like this between the light and the stop line. And they said that I was running a red light, even though the ticket showed that I was going exactly zero kilometers per hour. Anyway, if you get a ticket like that, you can, um, fight the ticket and in my case we split the difference 50 50 so it wasn't a hundred percent win but at least it wasn't the full fine the only good thing about photo radars is that they don't go against your license because they can't tell who's driving since in alberta we only have license plates on the back of the vehicle you're only going to get photo radar from the rear and there's no way to tell who's driving and that's why i call it a money grab because is it really discouraging people I mean, if you have enough money to just pay for them, maybe not. But if it's going against your license and you risk losing your license, that might be a bigger deal for some people. Last but not least, and I'm sure you've heard this one a lot if you've been looking at videos on moving to Edmonton. Number seven, the climate here is the worst for the most part because we get really super cold weather in the winter. Winter is really long, let's face it. I mean, you could be seeing snow anywhere from end of October, nothing getting really warm until April or May. And by warm, I mean, it's relative because, you know, warm here is like 15 Celsius. In addition to just the temperature, it gets really, really dry and it doesn't even matter what season we're in. It is dry year round. It takes some getting used to if you didn't come from a dry climate. Have you been to Edmonton? What things didn't you like about Edmonton? Drop a comment below. And if you haven't been here and you're still curious about Edmonton, make sure to check out my video, 12 Reasons to Love Edmonton. It's not all bad, trust me. If you found this video to be helpful, go ahead and click that like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.